put the maybe put the uprights on there. It'll give it a better idea as well. Um, I do like for this. I do like the the titanium kingpins just because of the fact that that's also gonna that's gonna slide slide better through the the arms. You know, or slide better through the balls on the arm, I should say. And, um, I don't know if this will maybe illustrate. I don't know if you can see this arm. Here. But you can see the action. This is somewhat exaggerated because it's going to have more movement than normal. You can see the kingpin pitch forward. Which is what would happen under under suspension compression. It's going to pitch forward, and it's going to take away a little bit of the camber in the car. And what that does is, in the middle of the corner, you know, it straightens the tire up and it lets it roll through the corner better. It gets you a little better bite. You know. Um, now let's see. We'll try to show the other side here. I don't know if that's going to. If it's really going to show that much difference. Um, but you know, this does it as well. But again, we're just trying to exaggerate that effect. So that's all that really is. I'm also going to put my washer on this side just so I don't forget it. Because that's the first thing I'll do is forget about it. Um, if I can find my wrench, which is also nice to have. There we go. But basically putting that spacer back there is it's it's helpful. Just to get a little more front end grip on your car. Um, I you know, raced twelve scale for a, a long enough time to remember or to at least kinda have a idea what I was supposed to be doing. Or what the front end was supposed to be doing when I was looking at it, so anyway that's pretty much that. Now, now, here again, these are the regular old steering arms. You know, they come with a kit. Um, then we also have, let's see if I can find them here, if I have some with me. I don't know if I have the 3.5 arm in front of me or not. There's a 3.5 millimeter offset front, you know, offset arm. And all students moving the, the steering knuckle back. Um, that is nice for when your car has too much steering. Um, generally, that's going to be like parking lot racing, low traction racing, um, outdoor racing. Because inside, most of the time, I've found you need all the steering you can get out of the, the regular, you know, standard on center kingpin. The offset kingpin is good like it I went to the Tamaya track last year for the Nationals. That was great there because it reduces a lot of the steering, takes away a lot of the the oversteer because that track didn't have as much bite as most of the tracks I've been to. So that's great for that. And the turns are also fairly wide. Um, I just don't think you get enough steering on center for an indoor track. And and also with foam tires, there's enough traction that you usually don't have to worry about that, you know. And there's there's certain ways to calm the car down. Um, if you really wanted to get more caster, one way would be to use a shim underneath underneath here. Now, for example, on the older car this is the old. F103 with a composite craft chassis, which is kind of funky looking, but you—it's the same difference. Um, on the older car, you'll notice uh, right here. That's a regular touring car setup, uh, or tour setup, regular touring car shim. That's for the hex on that touring car shim. Um, that 
you know you space out the front end of a touring car with that you can slip a, like a one millimeter one in right here and it kicks kicks you back for a little more caster and it helps to smooth the car out a ton on these cars you could do a similar thing here but you would probably have to add that spacer well I would, th I would think you probably have to add it under this screw versus this screw because all that's going to do is just kind of tilt tilt this area which doesn't matter you want to get this part further further up and kind of get these you want you want these two arms to come up kind of tilt the car forward a little bit but I don't think that's as effective as uh, it is on the other car and I think this is probably the better adjustment so stop there for a second